Welcome back to the channel. Me and Simon are out again. We are in Banoi Brekeniog, Brecon Beacons National Park. Today we're meeting up with the man, the myth, the legend that is Taff Well Man of the Woods. Yay. And look at this. Beautiful sunny day. Whoop, whoop. We've waited a long time for this one. If you remember the last time we went with Taff, the weather was atrocious. Didn't stop raining, but today, absolutely fantastic. So we're going to take a little hike up to the summit of Kadavawa today. Pitch up and uh, we're going to spend the night with Taff. So looking forward to this one. This weather has uh, changed. Sun's out, it's gone a bit warmer. I was undecided on what tent to use tonight. So it was a toss up between the MSR Access 1 or the REI Co-op Flash Air 2. Um, the MSR access one will be a bit warmer because it's a four season tent and the REI co-op flash air 2 is a single skin um, backpacking tent lightweight so so yeah it's not it's not a massive walk so I thought I'd take the two and decide when I get there so I'll set up the conditions later and uh, decide which one to use so yeah, I, I've actually put the, the flash air inside the same bag as the MSR tent, so it's not a lot of weight, it probably weighs around 3 kilos combined, which is pretty manageable. So yeah, I'm going to head up on, onto the camp now, and then wait for Mark and Saf to join me up there. From almost any hill, <coughs> In the Banai Brekeniog, you could probably get a glimpse of the two highest peaks in the central beacons. I mean, to over there, to the left, you see it popping up over the top. It's Con D, and to the right, it's Penavan. At the moment, I'm trying to find Taft's tent. There's nowhere around here. Um, might be a bad way. Let's keep on looking. Nice up here, some loads of um loads of camp spots up here. And it's not a massive hike either, so definitely one for the future if we come back. We just got I just scattered out a few places down by there, so yeah it's pretty good, quite flat as well. Just give you some idea where we are. Um, if you know the area, that direction is a little town called a village called Penderin, and that's where the um, famous Penderin whiskey distillery is. So we came past there to get to here, so which is through Aberdeer, um, Irwine. So it's not too hard to find. Well, Taft did mention the tent was surrounded by rocks. We've got a funny feeling it's over here. It is. Bingo. There's Taft's tent. Looks like a nice little sheltered spot as well. Because we've got some nice cover around here with some rocks. Yeah, I like this. Nice and flat areas to pitch tents, which is good. And there's Taft's tent, it looks like a rope, yeah, it's a rope and I don't know the model of it, but nice. Some nice views here as well. We made it. Caught up a taff while man in the woods. Just uh, stuffing my face a minute. Uh, there he is. Feeling a bit peckish. Using his Robins Voyager 2 EX. And have a look at this area. Beautiful. Loads of camping spots, fairly flat, really short grass. 
Yeah, hell of a camp spot this is. So we're going to put our tents up now. Can't see many people coming up here, so we should be safe. I think Simon's putting you putting two tents up, Simon. I don't know what to do, yeah. Like I said, I'm undecided. If you really rise up, keep the fucking noise down. Yeah. Oh no, we're not going to leave tomorrow. <laughs> So he's going to put two tents up, and if he gets cold in the night, he's going to go in the four season one. <laughs> if you get cold in the night, Simon, you can always come and share with me, boy. There's plenty of room in there, isn't You can always snuggle up. <laughs> Loads of room in this tent, right? Right, let's, let's get the tents up, is it? I've made an executive decision. I'm going to use the REI Flash Pair yeah, uh, 2. There's a tent all pitched up. I love the colour of it, it's a bit of a peculiar looking shape. But it's lightweight. Um, I've never tried this in high winds before. And the only thing that concerns me is the winds coming from this direction. You sort of push that in because there's no there's no like center, center pole. Got a pole there and it stops in this like stop there. And the same the other side. You know if the wind's coming from this direction, it looks like it's prone to caving in slightly. So yeah, we used like I said in Switzerland, we were lucky with the weather, so it was all good. Just show you a little detail of my REI tent. It comes with these DAC poles and you can either use these or you can use tracking poles or you can use tracking poles and these at the same time because you've got this little connecting piece here. The poles which supplied go into the smaller slot and then you can even put tracking poles, the point in there which will come down the side of this, you can have that in conjunction with this pole as well to give it extra stability and just pull that back over the top like this like that and then it's the same on this side of the tent as well Simon's going to send his drone up now so we can get a bird's eye view of the area. I'm going to use my Italian mocha pot. No instant coffee today, proper coffee. Got a pouch, possibly four, four coffees out of that. So I get the Soto Windmaster on now and drop that on top and get some coffee on the go. Me and Simon have left Taft to his own devices for a bit and we're going to take a walk up to Cadavaua. Only a smallish mountain, 
it's probably not even class the mountain it's a four eight five meters but it's got a trig point up there so we thought while we're here may as well bag it and go and have a look i'll tell you what have a look at this look at that for a camp spot see my tent down there probably the orange one That'd be a good spot that wouldn't it? Yeah. Nice little ledge there, get a couple of tents there. Plus you've got like a bit of a wind break if the wind's coming that way, so yeah. Lovely spot that is. Look at those views though. Got the central beacons over there. And what a beautiful day. Beautiful day for the camp. So we're just reaching the, the dragon emblazoned trig point of Cader of Four eight five meters above sea level. And these views go on for miles, miles and miles and miles. So I decided in the end, like you saw, um, to use the REI Co-op Flash Air 2. And as you can see on the sides, it's all mesh and it's a single skin so it's more of a summer tent and a through hiking tent really because it's lightweight so I think I'll be warm enough as I'm still using my my winter down bag and my Thermarest Neo Air so I'm sure I'll be warm enough yeah it's nice to use this tent again because I've Plenty of head tight, sat in the middle. It's nice and big. It's a two person tent, but I, you know, obviously I got room for my my pack and all my stuff, so it's nice to be out it again. Well this is brilliant, this is this we're just sitting around in the sun, so relaxing. Bit of sun on our faces, nice warm afternoon, brilliant. I've just done my bed setup, so I'll show you that. What I've got tonight for my setup is the Firmarest Neo Air X Firm inflatable pad. I've got the Nemo Philo inflatable pillow. But I've changed my sleeping bag up now. I've gone from the OEX Leviathan Four Season Down Bag, and I'm going to start using this now during the spring and summer. It's my Van Gogh Ultralight Free Season Bag. I've used it a few times over the last few years, but I think I'm going to use it more often now. Try and get a bit more use out of it. And I reckon that'll be, um, that'll be warm enough for tonight. So that's my bed setup. Taft's listening to the radio and the football scores. Yeah. Well, well, he was. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, I'm reading the newspaper now. Just catching up on the news. The weather's changed a little bit now. It's clouding over. And the temperature has dropped as well. Taft's gone over there for a little walk. We've got our down jackets on now. So I'm going to cook up a bit of food soon. I got um, an all day breakfast. And not a wayfarer all day breakfast. I got the full shebang. Bacon, egg, sausage, black pudding, 
hash brown and half a tomato so yeah looking forward to that there's my tent there looks a bit of a bomb site Skylarks are tweeting. So it's all good, all good fun. Trying something a bit different tonight. Um, <clears throat> I've got a Patax vegetable biryani. Um, I got some Honduran chili paprika char grilled prawns and I got some mini naan breads so the cost of all this it'd probably be the same price as a, a normal adventure food or wayfarer sort of meal so it's pretty good um, I'm gonna stir fry these in my pot and then I'm gonna attempt to um, cook these or hold them over the, the, um, the flame and just give them a light toasting. Well, that's the plan anyway, so let's see how I get on with that. Got a bit of a brainwave with these nan breads, I'm just holding over the flame with a uh, knife and just give them a bit of uh, a toasting. I don't know, it's over there, they look alright. Smell pretty good as well, to be fair, so, so I'll just warm that up in the pot. And then just serve it up, quick and easy meal. While I'm waiting for my uh, vegetable biryani to cook, just a taste of these. Mmm, really good. Slightly um, toasted on each side. Really taste them. So there it is all plated up, it shows you the naan breads, um, those prawns and all the rice, the biryani works really well together, some nice flavour that is, so I think that's a winner. It's time to eat. Using the jet boil skillet tonight and you know when that comes out, there's some serious cooking going on in the camp. So I've got hash browns, egg, Sausages in there, uh, black pudding, half a tomato, and some bacon. So I'm going to put some vegetable oil in the pan now and start frying. Oh, that's cooked now. Will I break the egg? Will I break the yolk? No pressure. Let's have a look. Look at that, perfect. Dinner is served. I think I'll give myself four out of ten for presentation. Put some brown sauce on there. Yeah, it's looking pretty good to be honest. Right, time to eat. So it's that time of the camp when we all seem to do nothing. Um, sitting in a tent, Tass watching a film, Mark is in his tent over there, um, I'm starting to question my judgement about this tent because like I said it's more of a summer tent, and there's a lot of mesh and it's starting to get cold so um, I hope I made the right decision. I think I'll be alright. I've got obviously my beanie hat on. I've got gloves. Um, I've got a down jacket on. I've got my booties on. So, should be nice and toasty. So, yeah, um, I think I'll stick it out. Just come up to check on our time lapse. We've got our camera set up in uh, the direction facing the the sunset over there <laughs> it's nice to actually see one because we haven't seen one for a while we haven't had that much luck when it comes to camping lately 
But um Well it's nice. It's nice to be back out again. It's a little bit cold, but it's not that windy to be honest. So if this time lapse turns out good, it will stick on a video. Right then Edwin, Simon's in his tent, Taff is in his tent, Yeah. there's my tent, which I'll be going in any minute now, so we'll see you in the morning, go right. Well, I haven't done this for a while. Been on a camp with a coffee and a sunrise. A brew with a view. Gotta enjoy this one. Bit of an update on um, last night's tent. Um, I did say I made a bit of a wrong decision using this, but in all fairness, I was lovely and warm. Um, a big factor in that was my sleeping bag, my winter down bag. No complaints. Um, if anything, I think it was a bit too warm, so I had to take um, my coat off, and uh, yeah, it was really really uh, warm in my bag so even though the tent has got a lot of mesh each side it wasn't an issue at all I slept really well I've just checked my um, my app on my phone which goes through my watch and uh, I slept about seven and a half hours so yeah it's good no issues there whatsoever yeah we're gonna pack up now and think about heading out of here 
It's been a fantastic camp though. With Taff, can't wait to come out again with him. It's been a brilliant day and night. Really enjoyed it. Cracking spot as well. Really good. Right, we're all packed up. As usual, no trace left. Apart from Taff's tripod, I assure you he's taken that with him. Just want to say thanks Taff Cheers, guys. for inviting us on another amazing camp out. Yeah, good, good. Cracking weather, cracking camp spot. So yeah, it's been really enjoyable this one. So we'll see you on the next video. Bye for now. Take care. Take it easy. Bye.